Hamid Okta, who is a crisis mediator and director of Insight into Crisis, and he joins us from Chicago. Thanks so much for speaking to us here on TRT World, Mohammed. Now, I want to start by asking you, um, in his last article, uh, Jamal Khashoggi's last article published on October the 17th on the Washington Post, um, he writes that the targeting of journalists triggers condemnation, quickly followed by silence. Do you think that that will be the case with Khashoggi's death? Uh, definitely not, at least for the short and the medium term. Uh, Jamal was a well-known journalist, and he wrote for a very well-known publication, The Washington Post. And he had uh, many friends across the globe, uh, in the U.S., and London, Europe, and the Middle East, and, and such. And uh, as a magnitude of, 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 of his killing and his murder uh, uh, is quite big, uh, having been killed inside the consulate of his own country in a city like Istanbul. And uh, it was just not a random killing in a street somewhere, a bullet in the back of the head. That was a premeditated murder. And the details that we get, how gruesome it is, and uh, a fact that we still don't have a body after the admission of Saudi Arabia of killing him, uh, that will not make it to go away anytime soon. Uh, we've seen uh, uh, the condemnation that is coming from politicians in, in Europe and in the U.S. And, and the action of the Magnetsky act from the U.S. Congress uh, is not going to let this one to go away anytime soon, and it will add and increase the pressure on Saudi Arabia, and particularly Mohammed bin Salman, uh, he had become very toxic now. I don't think any world leader or any business leader would like to take a picture with Mohammed bin Salman now or for the next five years. Okay. Now, uh, Mohammed, most people are describing Khashoggi as a journalist, which he was, of course, but he spent much of his career working with the Saudis diplomatic and intelligence services. Um, could this have been a reason or the reason why he was a target? I think it is one of the reasons, because he was very close to uh, Turkey al-Faisal and the Faisal clan, the highly respected clan of the royal family. And in addition, he was an insider. He knows enough about the ins and outs of Saudi Arabia and the state secrets and, and who, who's who. And in addition, uh, he was very close to many of the dissident and the opinion leaders who has been detained in Saudi Arabia over the last uh, few years. He commented openly about uh, many of the scholars, about the business leader like Assam Zamel, the economist, and others. And he was very concerned about their cases. And he said, you know, I left so I can speak because he can't. And, and he stressed on that. Uh, there are many reasons why he was killed, but uh, the main reason that he was a threat to Mohammed bin Salman, and he was able to discredit the so-called reform of Mohammed bin Salman in the West. Mm -hmm. Mohammed, we're soon approaching 24 hours since the Saudi statement. You're there sitting in the U.S. What would you like to see happen now in general and from the U.S. government? Uh, well, first, uh, fr from from the Istanbul side, I would like to see a body uh, uh, surface of, of Jamal and uh, a proper funeral uh, in Istanbul and a burial either in Istanbul or Medina. This is the first thing. As a friend, I would like uh, to see a proper funeral for my friend. From the U.S. side, uh, I would like to see uh, uh, more action. And actually, I'm going to Washington uh, in a couple of days uh, in, in, in a few meetings and with the Congress leaders uh, about uh, pushing for more action against Saudi Arabia, suspending all arms sale to Saudi Arabia, and considering uh, uh, uh Saudi Arabia as, as not an ally to the United States and not an ally to NATO. Uh, it's right now it's a rogue state that kills journalists and uh, U.S. residents inside their consulate. Uh, it can be a partner. Uh, we, always, we see the opinion of uh, President Trump regarding business with Saudi Arabia, but that is not uh, uh, the consensus in Washington. The consensus in Washington right now is against Saudi Arabia, and the tide is turning, and we'll, uh, we'll try to add more pressure on that. And many people are trying to add more pressure on that right now. Mohammed, thank you very much for your insight. Uh, that was Mohammed Okta, who is a crisis mediator and director of Insight into Crisis in Chicago.